Okay, so today I'm going to do a video on how to put on my new buckle guards onto your mohair cinch. You need three things. You need a mohair cinch, you need a buckle guard, and you need a pair of needle nose pliers, something everybody has in their home. So first you're gonna start when you get them in the mail. You're gonna take off your concho, slide it off, it's pretty simple. You're gonna slide this off, and then you're gonna take your cinch, you're gonna take the buckle, and you're gonna go like this. You, Zane, are you getting everything? Yay. You're gonna go like that, and you're gonna take the tongue of the buckle and push it through, and you're gonna go like that. I try to go like this on the double bar buckles because they're a little bit different than the single bar buckles, and I get the edges really good, pull them out, and lay it flat. So with a double bar buckle, which most cinches these days have, this point of um, entry where the ties are going to go is a little bit higher up. It usually goes between or on the sides of the center knot. So what you're gonna do next, is you have it laying like this, you flip it over. Whoops, you don't flip it over yet. You take your needle nose pliers and you go like this and there's, there's all your knots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's the center. You can see where the little, little tongue is there and you're gonna put the needle nose pliers between those knots. It's really easy. You see it comes out on the other side really simply. You don't have to push. If it seems like you're hitting something, then pull out and do it again. You're gonna take your leather strip, open the needle nose. Hopefully you have a better pair than these because mine are really old. You're gonna hold it and you're gonna pull it through. Whoops, you're gonna pull it through in a minute. <laughs> okay. I need a better hold of them. All right. So you're gonna take your leather, you take it right from the end, put your leather in your needle nose. There you go, that's better. And you're gonna pull it through. I have lotion on my hands, so that's kind of a pain. There you go, there's one. That was easy. Second one, the other one on a double bar buckle, you can see where it goes with whatever type of buckle you have, but goes in the other side of that knot. Here's the knot, and this is the other side. This, there's a hole. Put it through, see it coming out on this side. Put your leather piece there and pull it through and it happened again. Oh, but it came through, look at that. Sorry guys, I just put lotion on my hands, so. Kinda sucks. So there's your second piece. Pretty simple. Next thing you're gonna do is really pull them tight and you're gonna press down on the cinch and the guard as you pull the strips through. <clears throat> Okay, and then the strips go through there, pull them up through here, like that. And again, you're gonna really push down and pull these really tight. Make sure that it's all the way tight. And then You'll see that one side of the leather strip has a slot in it. You're gonna take these and you're gonna push this through the slot. It can be a little hard in the beginning because it's new, just like anything new, new pair of shoes, new pair of boots. You don't want them to be loose. You want it to work itself into where it belongs. So again, I hold it with that. 
and I pull. And hopefully my hand doesn't slip off because I have lotion on them. Okay. Then you pull the rest of it through. And you don't want it to be loose either because you want this guard to fit perfectly on here. And you don't want it to come off. Okay. So that is how you put your buckle guard on. Oh, one more thing. I forgot the concho. So we're going to take it off. The concho is so pretty on here. This client ordered a great um, pair of uh, black buckle guards that matched her cinch. It also matches her black saddle. Okay, so put your concho on. Don't forget your concho. You don't need a concho. It just looks nice. And while I'm putting this concho on, a buckle guard distributes pressure from the buckle evenly onto your horse. It protects the horse and makes the horse more comfortable. And as we all know, as horse people, if your horse is comfortable, you have a much more comfortable ride and a much safer ride. I like to do that, make it easier to put in there. Okay, so I'm gonna slip it back in again. You also wanna remember, get used to taking your buckle guards off because you need to take them off, I'd say at least once a month to take care of your cinch. Your cinch needs cleaned about once a month. A cinch that is cared for will last you a decade or more. So there you go. That's how you put a buckle guard on and it's beautiful. And I love the simplicity of this cinch. It's a traditional diamond design with a little bit of extra detail. And this looks awesome on it. Thank you very much.